Okay, CL 4-128, which table or tables below show a proportional relationship? Justify your answers. Okay, um, let's go and review tables and what makes a table proportional. How do we tell if a table is proportional? Well, hopefully you guys remember uh, the two, uh, two simple criteria. The first one is that um, if you have a table, x, y, uh, if you have an x value of 0, the y value has to be 0 as well. If it's not, it is not proportional. Second one is that um, the rates, the rate of change, um, or the growth, um, has to be constant. Meaning they have to stay the same, they can't change. Okay, so let's take a look at A. Um, a, I'm just looking through the data, 5, 9, 7, 13, 9, 17, negative 8, 7, negative 17, and oh, 0. Um, remember, if x is 0, y has to be 0 in a proportional relationship. So right away, because of this, A is not proportional. Okay, let's take a look at B. Um, for B, let's see, let's see, um, okay, 7, 3 and a half, 14, 7, um, negative 12, negative 6, negative 36, negative 18, 9, 4 and a half. If you guys notice, it looks like what's going on is we just either multiply Y times 2 to get X or divide X by 2 to get Y. And it looks like it's the same for all these relationships. So that's telling me that the rate of change seems like it's, uh, the rate of change is constant. Okay, so the rate of change or the growth is constant, which is a good thing. That means that, um, that it might be proportional. So check that. And what about um, the x? We have to figure out if x is 0, what's y going to be? Okay, well, let's take a look at this. So if we're doubling y to get x, that means at, um, let me kind of continue this table, x, y. That means at, um, at um, y is, say, 2 and a half. Uh, x should be 5 okay and this continues to make sense um, let's say that x is 3 this would be 1 and a half if x is 2 y would be 1 if x is 1 y would be only 1 half so if x is zero, y is going to be zero. And let's actually take a look at the growth pattern. For every one increase in y, I'm sorry, one increase in x, y increases by one half. Okay, plus one half, plus one. Okay, plus one, sorry. Um, and that pattern seems to continue. So we do have x, y, at 0, 0 or the origin. So I would say that B is proportional. Okay, finally let's take a look at C. Okay, C, it has a X, Y, it is at 0, 0, which is a good thing. But what I'm seeing now is, let's see, um, it doesn't look like things are the rate of change is proportional. If you take a look at here from um, 5 to 125, I, I know that um, that's going to be 5 times 20, 25 to make 125. But it's only 10 times 100. Is that 100? 10 times 100 to get um, from 10 to 1,000, or 4 times 12 to get. To 48 so these changes are not consistent the rate of change is not consistent so that means it's not proportional excuse my sloppy handwriting <laughs>